well, tonight was a game we got off to a very good start. Um, we did a very good job of moving the basketball. We did a very good job of throwing the ball to the correct color jersey tonight. Um, this is the first game where you know we've had more assistant turnovers, which is something that we've been working on and we need to continue to get better at. And um, you know we got contributions across the board from a lot of guys, and, and that's how we have to play. And um, you know we're, we're we're starting to understand that. And um, you know the last couple of days of practice have been very well also. And, to see that carry over in, into a game is uh, that's, that's very pleasing for the coaching staff. One of the constants you've had so far this year is the rebound. You've done a good job, did a good job of tonight. But tonight you also got some good outside shooting, some good three point shooting from certain guys. Yeah, anytime you know you make eight threes, eight, eight out of fourteen, you're shooting the ball pretty well. And uh, you know we had some guys get some good looks and uh, knock down some shots. Um, you know, Rondell came in and knocked down a couple. Um, I think Mitch had a couple. Um, you know, and so whenever the ball is moving and we're stepping into our shots and they're open shots, you know, we're going to make our fair share. And, um, you know, tonight was a good night for us in terms of, of making those. If you can continue to have a rotation nine or ten deep of players who can contribute, is that going to make you a more dangerous team come conference time, you think? I hope so. I mean, you know, the one thing that uh, I understand and, and from my previous experiences as a player is, is having quality depth is important. You know, people, you know, talk about conference play and things like that, but it's so early right now. Um, Cause you don't know injuries are gonna happen and it's unfortunate, but they're gonna happen. And, um, you know, you have to make sure that you get guys quality reps in your non-conference season. So when they get into the situation where you're in conference play and there's an injury or somebody's in foul trouble or there's some other um, distraction that has happened and, and your rotation changes that guys are ready to go. Could, could you lock down though if somebody said, hey, you've got to lock down a nine, ten man rotation, could, could you do it right now? Well, I could do it today, but it'll change tomorrow. <laughs> you know, and, and that's, that's the way I coach and that's just because of somebody who's in the rotation is not helping us be successful on that particular night or they're not locked in defensively or they're not playing with the effort and intensity that we expect, somebody else is going to get a chance. Is this exactly the type of game you want to see out of Cody? You know, 11 points, 7, seven assists, eight, 8 rebounds. Is that kind of in the mix of what you want to see out of him? Absolutely. Um, you know, he, he contributed in a lot of different ways. and. Um, you know, that's what we need them to do, yeah, that, that's it. I like to see them a little bit more active defensively, creating a few more deflections. I thought a couple of times um, he, could, he should have had some steals for some breakaway layups. Um, but we didn't quite get to that right defensive spot, but all in all, you know, he played a great four game tonight. Not getting in the right spot, is that just being maybe a step slow or, or just not anticipating? No, it's, it's, I mean, it's, Perfect world for coaches. We never want our guys to be out of position. We want them to do everything right. That's that's just the demands that, that I place upon the guys. And um, you know, a couple times he, he knew it because he, he thought he could have had a deflection and he kind of, I should have been there. So you know, that, those are the things that we just need to tighten up because um, one or two possessions in a tight ball game means a lot.